Hey everyone, Tim Boris from Fresh Wellness Group. I'm here today with tip number two in our seven essential nutrition success tips. And this one is eat at regular intervals and consistent times. In previous videos, I've talked about how mindset, habits, and regular physical movement are essential for nutrition success. Two key parts of that successful nutrition habit are timing and consistency of your meals. Now, this is an area that creates a lot of challenges for people. With clients, I often see people skipping meals. Sometimes it's because, well, life just gets busy, or busy as they say. Sometimes they just forget. Either way, it comes back to habits. Planning to fuel your body is a critical part of your energy, your productivity, your focus. You know, ideally, it's done as part of your daily and weekly routines when you're planning and organizing your schedule. Now, you do have those, don't you? Please tell me you do. Because if you don't, that's the first step to start. Your nutrition challenges will continue until you dial those in. So once you have a proper daily and weekly planning habit for your, the things you want to get done each day, nutrition becomes a part of that. You schedule your meals, when you're going to eat. and you know, People think, well, of course I know I'm going to eat at meal times. Plan them into your schedule because if not, when you're a busy, high-performing person, they tend to get missed. Something else will always come up that gets in the way. So everyone is slightly different in terms of when they eat, but with proper portions set up for unique, your unique metabolic type, meals can be reliably spaced about three to five hours apart. Now, more about your metabolic type in a different video, that's not for this one, but many people have skipped meals in the past and they're not hungry at mealtimes. Sometimes we just need to train our body to accept food again. Just like fitness training, where our body begins to respond positively over time, your energy and digestive system will adapt and respond to the inputs you give it. And that can be positive or negative. If you're giving it positive inputs on a consistent interval, your energy is going to be boosted. You'll start to get hungry at certain mealtimes because your body's like, hey, you know what? I'm getting food. I can expend energy. I, can, I don't have to hold on to everything I, I give. When you skip meals, everything you get gets hoarded and held on to. So your metabolism slows down. You, you don't burn fuel. You're not as likely to be active because you're a bit lethargic probably because you're not getting the energy and nutrients you need. We have the ability to create energy by moving our body and by fueling our body effectively. So that's really important. And whether it's three larger meals, four moderate meals, three meals and a couple of smaller snacks, consistency and timing of each of those over the long term is critically important. And my coaches and I, we find that those who struggle the most are those who are inconsistent with their timing, portions and quality of food. So set reminders if you have to. Eat consistent, small, healthy meals each day and you'll be amazed at the boost in your energy, the improvements in your focus, as well as your body composition. You'll lose the weight you want counterintuitively by eating more food on a consistent basis. Now I'm not talking eating massive portions, that's where portion size comes in. And we'll talk about that in a different video. All right, if you need more help with the nutrition side, check out pillar number four of the Fitness Curveball series. You can pick up your copy on Amazon, thefitnesscurveball.com or timboris.com forward slash curveball. Check it out. Let me know your comments. I look forward to seeing you succeed in all the nutrition and fitness and lifestyle challenges that you're currently facing. And I know you've got this. Chat soon.